Hey kids, it's Pastor Steve, and we get some time to spend in God's Word and the Psalms together. So of course, I'm looking forward to that. I'm so glad that we are Bible friends and get to talk about that. Uh, before we look at Psalm 73, I have a question. Are you more of a Starburst person or a Reese's person? Are you more of a fruit-flavored candy person or a chocolate person? Which one do you desire? If I was to offer you one, what would you take? All right, how many would take Starburst? All right, how many would take Reese's? Hmm, interesting. I'm, I'm more of a Reese's person myself. But our scripture today talks about desire, what we want. So uh, let me put these away. I don't want to have to eat them right now. So uh, Asaph, he was a songwriter. He wrote songs about God and he helped God's people sing and worship God. And he was realizing that he was jealous. Do you know what jealous is? Is when you desire other people's stuff. Right? Maybe is there someone that may be like, wow, I wish I had their hairstyle or I wish I had their sneakers or I wish I could play basketball as good as they do or I wish I had as many friends as she did. Right. So that is jealousy. So Asaph, you even grown up sometimes get jealous. Right. So Asaph was realizing that he was jealous of other people. He wished he had other. He desired what other people had, even stuff like their health. So uh, he, he was struggling and he told God about it. And then he was, after telling God about it, he realized something. And I'm going to read it here in Psalm 73. I'm going to read 23, 24, and 25. Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterwards you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And the earth has nothing I desire besides you. He realized that even though he wants things like maybe like candy or uh, sneakers or video games, even though he there's part of him who wants what other people has, he realized that there's nothing on earth that's worth desiring than God. I want to remind you that no matter all the things you see, I know it's back to school season soon. People are buying new stuff. And before we know it, it's going to be Christmas. That the only thing that's worth desiring, the first thing that our heart really wants, should want is God. All the other stuff, you get candy, you eat it, and it's all done. You get too much candy, you eat it, you get a tummy ache. The only thing that our heart should truly desire, the first thing, the most important thing is God. Because God is good, because God is love, because God lasts forever, he's eternal, because God first loved us. Because God is pure, because God is beautiful. There's all these reasons God won't fail us. And everything else around the world breaks, disappoints, gets old, gets boring. It's not good for us, not good for our bodies, not good for our hearts, not good for our minds. So we're to desire God. We're to want more of God. So let's desire God together. Let's worship God in song and tell him that he's really what I want. Because sometimes our, our minds are thinking of other things we want. Other things we want to do. Maybe after this, after church now, you're thinking, oh, what do I want to do? Do I want to run? Do I want to play? Do I want to eat cake? Do I want to call my friends? Do I want to play video games? There's always other things that kind of distract us. But God should be our first desire. He's the greatest thing in the whole galaxy. He's the most important thing. What all life is all about is about God. So help us not to get distracted by other desires, being jealous of other people, or chasing after things that are really not good for our bodies, our hearts, our minds. Let us desire God together. God, we thank you, Lord, that you are good. You are worth desiring. Everything else disappoints. Everything else fails. Most things we want are not really good for us. Help us to follow you, to spend time with you, to put our heart's focus on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let us sing our desire to God as we worship together.